Amelia, she's five. She, Amelia's going to do the best job, I reckon. Minnesota Babs. Well, that's going to be a bit slow. Right. Where's your piece of uh... Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm Ed, and this is Daisy here. I'm off. Well, she's bang off today. Um, do you want to introduce the whole thing? Welcome. Hold. Hold. Talk to the people. They're there, look. There. Uh, there they are. Hi. Oh, if you want to start painting whilst Daisy's uh, just you know, figuring this out, the whole thing, paint the whole thing yellow to start with. Welcome everybody. Today we are going to paint Van Gogh's Van 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 Gogh's larger than. I can never say that word. Anemones. Yes, actually, it's called Vard with Daisy's. Daisy's and anemones. Um, also known as flowers in a blue vase, that's what I like to call it. Right, good. <laughs> it was painted, it was painted in 1887 in Paris. Very good, I think that's all we need to know. The vase also doesn't, you read it. it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. If you want to go and see it, it's in uh, the Netherlands somewhere. Okay, so, um, let's, let's start. Dave, paint the whole thing yellow. We're going to start by painting the whole thing yellow. If you've got canvas brilliant, if you've got paper, try and tape it to the sides. If you've not done this before, I paint really fast so that you can see what I'm doing and uh, hopefully kind of, uh, you, you know, you see what I'm doing and then you can, you can paint along with that. If you haven't already printed one of these out for your reference, do so or or uh, in the feed, there's a digital image of it. So what I sometimes do is like print, is just like grab it and stick it to the corner of your of your screen, and you can have a look at the original Van Gogh, um, which is slightly better than the one that I made earlier. Um, but here's one I made earlier. Take it off. Uh, any questions? Just chuck them in the comments. Uh, we have a little break at quarter to one so that we can have a cup of tea or so you can I catch can up. Watch She's wanting to watch some sort of... Investigator's really good. It's a children's program on Netflix. It's a children's... Talk properly, Dave. <laughs> you got <laughs> Well, I'll get a canvas. Are we going to paint the whole thing yellow? Paint the whole thing yellow. I've got an old canvas. If you don't like your paintings, you can just paint oh, white paint, emulsion. Sometimes I do that. Actually, that's a good one. Oh, there we go. So you can redo the, you can reuse these canvases. Even the Mona Lisa found one finally. Look, I think that probably had the scream on it once upon a time. Maybe I painted another one of Daisy's. Don't tell her. Huh. What? Huh? Okay. I might, I might have. I just, I might have painted over your screen. No, it was the best one. I know it was a really good one, but. Okay, paint the whole thing yellow. I'm going to move my canvas uh, forward so you can see. Paint all the way to the edges. Big brush like this. Daisy paints pretty fast as well, so. Oh, I want to put um, tape around mine. Too late, we've started. Do you want to do it next time? You can do it next time. Yeah. Just makes a nice border when you put the tape around the edges. I've put, I, t I taught this, um, this painting for a, for a Zoom class the other day, it's really, it's difficult to teach, it's actually quite easy to do, it's difficult to teach because it's, there's no real sort of reference points, mm -hmm. which is just to make my life a little bit more, more challenging, more challenging days. Mm -hmm. 
Right, how are we getting on everyone painting the whole thing yellow? It's easy, isn't it? Look, there's a little face from the screen. Gone. Water on your brush, thins it out a bit. Do, do, do. Let's have a look how these lights coming on. 200, that's good. We want 200. But 200 people watching today, so that's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then you probably get a few more who can't watch it live because um, you will probably know, I right know, because I bang on about it all the time, but if you can't see it live, the thing saves to the page, and you can watch it again later. The really old, the older ones, like the ones we did 12 weeks ago or something, I'm starting to put those on YouTube so that they are um, like available there, basically. And they're still free. But if loads of people watch it, YouTube gives <laughs> money to... Um, the advertising, so that's the plan. Right, I'm going to move my thing forward. Like these. So then, oh, look, there's your. Done. Done. Any other sort of pieces of advice you need to tell people? Always have bacon. <laughs> Always have a bacon. Oh, hello, Scott. Any yellow. Any yellow will be fine. Any yellow. So we paint the whole thing yellow. This can come forward a bit. Thanks, get off my lips. <laughs> oh, <I> shit. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, it has gone. Acrylic paint is fine. We always use acrylic paint. Okay. Right then, everyone, here we go. We've got to take, take a deep breath. Dave, stop TikToking. Stop TikToking. Dave, hello. 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 <laughs> okay, get a, get a little. We're going to start mapping this thing, thing out. Get a little, a smaller brush, doesn't have to be tiny. And we're going to do two little dots. We're going to do one little dot right in the middle in a sort of orangey colour. So get a little bit of... Um, it's sparkly! Get a little bit of red paint. I got a sparkly brush. <laughs> I got a sparkly brush. Get a little brush, a tiny bit of red in with your yellow, and we're going to do a tiny dot right in the middle of the canvas, just there, a little dot. Is that okay for you, Dace? So if you look at your reference, you can see, well hopefully you can see, oh, that little dot that we've done. Yeah, you can use a bit of water if you want. It's actually the middle flower here. Not the middle flower, the second one up. The head of the second one up flower there. That's what it is, because that's the middle. And we need to know where the middle is, because we need to start somewhere. So just do a little dot there. Daddy. That's far, that's way too far down, Daisy. Where's your whole thing? Oh, what? Where's the one that you did earlier? Oh, uh, Sorry, yeah, good point, good point, well made. That's not even right for this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, put that, we'll put that up there so you can see what we're doing. So, it's, uh, about a quarter of the way down, we're going to make another little mark. Dave, Dave, that's great. Just leave it, crack on. We're going to do another little mark, which is the back of the table, right? Where? Half, halfway in between this, so a quarter of the way up, do a little bit of a mark there, which is the back of the table. 
So remember that first dot we did is the second, the first dot that we did is the second flower. So this one here, that's the one in the middle. And then we're going to do another little line here, lightly in orange. And this table's on the slant, so we're going to draw the whole line. Why am I Dace, come over here quick so you can see what I'm doing. Dace. Yeah. So we do a little dot and we do the back of the table. Sketchy. Well, ideally. Sketchy in orange. So on a bit of an angle, so it goes down a little bit on the on the right hand side and up a little bit here. And then the corner of the table like is like that. And this is we're sketching it. We're sketching it all out if we're in paint. There we go. That's good, Dave. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Could I put the painting somewhere else? Maybe people can't see my painting. That is a good point. Let's have a look at that. I need more yellow. That's better. That is better. I okay. Need more yellow. We're going to do the second flower, right? So this is where it just you just concentrate a little bit here, and then the rest of it is freestyle. There's a lot of freestyle in this. That's a lot of finger painting in this, so I reckon the kids' paintings are going to be better than the adults' paintings because they'll be a little bit freer. So we've done that second flower here, and we're going to do the first flower is just there. So that's the head of the first flower. If anyone needs paint, come to me. <laughs> okay, so that's the, fir that's the first flower, that's the second flower. If you want to do the third flower, let's go there. And then the fourth flower there. You don't need paint. So I've got my artistic license in my back pocket. I'm going to use it quite a lot. Daisy's got hers. You want to make sure you've got your artistic license ready. Um, doesn't matter if there's four flowers, five flowers, two flowers. Do you know what I mean? If you fancy putting a yellow one up here later, we do that. That's fine. Right then, Daisy. Here we go. This is the little bit where. We need to sort of, not concentrate, but the boss taste, listen to me. Come over here, I know you did. <laughs> Thank you. Come over here. So we're going to do the edges of the vase. Right? Oh. So the edges of the top of the vase almost goes through the bottom flower. So I'm going to do the edge of the vase like this and like this, okay? So that's the edge here and the edge here, here and here. Here and here. Yeah, so then do the, that's great. So do the edges of the bars, just do a little line here, and a little line here, and then take a stand back, right? Because you've probably done the bars too big. Have a little stand back. And look, you can see I've done my, my bars is too big. Oh, hello, Lucy. Right, so I might just want to make, that's too big. Everyone does it too big. So you want to bring in the edges a little bit closer. Daisy's is too big. Daisy, you're not finger painting yet. Okay. So I'm going to bring the edges in a little bit closer because my vase is too big. And then I'm going to come down and sketch out the rest of it. So the bobble bit, the bobbly bit, say it's like the bottom of a light bulb, comes out like this and crosses that line of the table. Okay? I'm loud. Okay. And so that bobbly bit crosses the bottom of the table. And then, actually, there's another bit of the vase which is on a kind of weird angle. It's slightly bigger at the right hand side, but anyway. Keep looking at your reference. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You're a ninja. Can you help me? Yeah, just follow, follow me. I have to wear a different hat. I did this last week, my hat's too big. That's better. Uh. Yes! Back to the old red beret. Is that better? We can see what we're doing. So you've probably all done your bars too big. It's up. That's it. I'll do that 
sort of shape there. And what we'll do is later, the last thing we'll do is we'll actually be painting in the blue. So, ah. looks good, Dave. I think it needs to be a bit more rounded. The top, the top sort of this bulgy bit here. You can't see what I'm doing. To be a bit rounded. So when you're happy, roughly, with the shape of your um, vase, we can move on and start. Monica, in the feed, there, in the top of the page or somewhere on the Cheese and Wine Painting Club page, there's, you can see that you can find this image. It's not far away. So just double click it and save it. Should we start painting some flowers? I've lost my reference. Don't lose your reference. Here it is. Huh? Okay. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Daisy, right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a start and paint some flowers yellow. We're going to go straight, we're going to go yellow and white paint. Uh, So just so that we can relax a bit after our stressful time of planning the thing out, we can just paint some flowers. So get some white paint and some yellow paint. You don't need to mix it all together like a soup onto your palette. You can, you can just have it mixed. You want to be mixing it on the canvas. So with a bit of white paint and a bit of yellow paint, if some orange paint is in there as well, then that's fine. And we can just start, just start putting in where, these, where you want these flowers to be. Beautiful Daisy do, it's beautiful. So we've got one little flower there. We've got one here, you probably can't see it because it's yellow on yellow, but you, I mean, it's not that tricky, is it? The flowers, paint some little flowers. I generally use quite a bit of paint and I go from the end of the, um, the end of the petal in and I leave quite a bit of paint. There's those ones there. If you want to, you can just put, just so that we know where stuff is, there's some more yellow flowers over here. A bit more droopy ones, I don't know what they are. Somebody will be able to tell me what they are. I've no idea. I, don't, I, I know daisies, they're the ones on the top. It's anemones, I don't even know which ones those are. Some blue ones, red ones, wallflowers. No idea. Fox clubs. Anyway, there's definitely some droopy ones on this side. So I'm going to put these ones in. This one, these ones there, here. We'll do those next. We can do those next. And the reason we're doing that is because we've already got the yellow paint out. It's not rocket science. Uh, we've got the yellow paint out, so we're doing the yellow stuff. So uh, just think about where they are, though, because these, these ones over here are actually slightly lower down than you think. And they're droopy. So if you imagine the petals are like that, like, your, like my hands doing that. Yes! That's going to be so good. This is going to be so good. Okay. I'll give you a minute to kind of uh, get up to speed with that. I'll check my comments just to see if everyone's all right. Looks like everyone's all right. Acrylic is definitely good. Dee -dee -dee -dee. That's good. There's no one commenting, which means everyone's painting. So that's good. Monica, if you can't see the image, just look at the one above Daisy's head. And try and copy that. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to start darkening the whole thing up now. We've done the yellow and we're going to leave the yellow because the yellow wants to be bright. And now we're going to start darkening it down with some red and some uh, red and some brown. So red and green, we're going to start mixing it in. Um, we're going to start with the table. Start with the table. Get some green paint out and some red paint out. Red it. Yeah, that's a nice colour there. 
I'm good at mixing. You're very good. You just love mixing the colours, don't you? All right. So we're gonna we're gonna um, leave the. <laughs> That's a good colour. You want to get a colour like that? It's like a burgundy. Isn't so. It Khaki? I don't know what khaki I've never really thought of this what khaki, what colour khaki is. Can I touch your luxury? Yeah, he's such a luxury. Actually, no, because we need to watch that. I'm going to do the back of the table. So, oh, with a bit no! of water. I've got paint on the iPad. Just leave it, it's a little bit. There's a lot. No, it's fine. It's fine, I thought it'd come off. It'll just dry. If you get paint on, the weight on your iPad, just let it dry and flick it straight off. Okay, so I've got some, I've got some red. And I've got a little bit of green here, which turns the red a bit kind of dirty. All right. And then with some water, ladies, listen to me, will you? Yeah? I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay. So then what we're doing is we're going around the edges. We're going to do the back of the table. Water is fine. If you want to use your fingers, that's fine. You can just smudge it in like this. We're going to do the edges of our vase. Can you see what I'm doing? You see, it's dark underneath the bottom of the vase, of course, because there's no light there. Use a lot of water. Oh. A little bit of this yellow is going to poke through. Oh, that's a bit too much. It's a bit too much. Don't use Fanta. <laughs> so we're just darkening out the back of the table. I'm using yeah. quite a bit of water. Yeah, Dave, that's good. Probably more water. So we just need to know where it is, and we're leaving the vase, all right? Obviously, we're leaving the vase, because the vase goes blue afterwards. It's not straight red. It's like a red with some green in. All right? And we're just trying to darken the whole thing up. Not really, not really paying huge amounts of attention to where the which direction the brush strokes are going just yet, but in a minute we will be. We're just trying to get some yeah. paint on there. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Have a quick look at mine, and then you can see. So I'm just putting water on that. Oh. Oh, like that. Oh. Okay, here we go. Do, do, do. So it's sort of a dirty red on there. Right. So that's that. We almost need to do the same sort of thing. Just dirty it, basically. Make it dirty. Little bits of yellow is going to poke through. We almost want to do exactly the same thing now. Um, this is where it becomes difficult to teach because you have to remember that the, if you really look at it, these flowers, they almost blend into the background. And what we're doing, we're painting the background, but we'll also probably be painting some of these flowers as well. So wherever you've got a yellow flower, don't paint on that. This is why it's so difficult to explain this. Right, I'm just going to get a big brush and start. I'm just going to get a big, big brush and start painting. That's good, Dave. I'm going to get a big brush and start painting, and I'll try and explain what I'm doing all on the way. So, I want the same dirty red. So that's red and green. Red and green. There's a bit of yellow in there as well, and it's kind of going. I'll just put it on with the side of my brush and I'm just trying to get rid of the yellow. The reason I'm using the side of my brush is because I don't want it, I don't want brush strokes on there. I just want to like dirty it. So this is when we start using our fingers. <laughs> you need to come around this side, Dave, and you'll see what I'm doing. Dave. You come around this side. You're the only person that can't see anything. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're painting with red dirt. Use the side of a big brush and where it catches, and then you can kind of go all the way up to here. That's too red. And then you could just use your fingers and just blend it in. Just blend it in a little bit. You can't have too much, it's impossible to have too much paint at this stage. And this is where the blur, like this. 
This is where the you try it and try it on your painting. I want a <laughs> This is where the sort of blurred lines are. So here's background and then here's Ouch. here's gonna be the uh, the flowers. But don't really worry about it now, just sort of blur it all in. This is gonna fall on top of you. No, it won't be The same up here, and it's that dirty red. Once we've got the dirty red. There's red and green in there. Some green found as well. I told you it was going to fall on top of me. Hang it up then. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Sorry, sweetie. I'll fix it at half time. Right, let's see how everyone's. That's going to freak people out, this one, I think. Jules, I mixed red and green. So it's mostly red and then a little bit of green for the table. Okay, here we go. It's gonna get messy, this one. It's gonna get messy. Yeah. It's some... No! It's gonna be, that. it's gonna be a good paint. I did it last time. It's, um, it basically looks fairly rubbish all the way through till the end. And then it suddenly it just appears. So don't beat yourselves up if it's looking well, this is not going my way, it's like I can't paint, sort of thing. Just like bear with it. The process is we continue doing a bit of this. We want the we want the top up here to be a bit greeny and a bit ready, and the ready down here, and then we'll start marking out where the flowers go roughly. But apart from these ones. Individual flowers aren't really there. And let's not forget, he's an impressionist, so it's just an idea of flowers. Isn't that right, Daisy? Yeah. yeah. Paint all the way up to the edges. By that, Daisy. Paint all the way up to the edges. Edge of your canvas or edge of your paper. I'm just starting to introduce a little bit more, more green into my red. show you. So I've just got, well I've got a bit of that green and red so it just makes that sort of weird. And mix it up on the, like I say, mix it up on the canvas rather than the palette uh, and you get more colours, that's just a good way to get more colours going on there. And then don't go, you know, go up to the edge of your vase, go around the edges of these flowers. Because look, these flowers here, beautiful. Da, 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 da. And then as you try, and then as you gradually get into your the big bunch of flowers, you kind of your paint kind of drifts off like a bit of a gradient into there. And you can sit, oh that looks good, Dave. Try not, I don't really want to see brush strokes as such. Anywhere apart from the table, we'll do that next. So we just want to mess it up a bit. We're going to do a lot of this finger painting. Like that, three or four fingers like that, and then you go do, 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 just dab it on. It's great when we get the blue going. It's messy, but it's good. You've got to be happy with that, haven't you, Dace? You want to add a bit of green? Have a quick look at mine. So you've gone a, bit, gone a bit greeny. And the whole thing doesn't have to go greeny because there's red and green bouncing off each other. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just hard to explain it. Remember where your table is. So, you know, the back of your table is really not very well pronounced here. You can see it, but it's not like there's a table, definitely. There's the, you know, it's just sort of quite subtle. Subtle base, subtle. Right, let's have a look. How are we all getting on? Don't see everyone's behind. Don't worry about that. Do not worry about that. Should we have a little fly around? 
Let's have a little fly around. Oh, Janie Jane, hello. Let's have a little fly around. Okay, okay. So you can see how much or how little detail I've got in mine. You can see I've just about sketched out those flowers in yellow. Everything else is really, there's the red and green table. And then there's the red and green up here. And look, it's not, you know, it's dripping down a bit. It's not kind of super detailed at all. It's just sketchy. And um, should we go and have a look at Daisy Doodles? Hey, Daisy, say hi. <laughs> okay, here we go. Another look at Daisy's. Oh, do you want to describe your work? <laughs> That's just growling. Okay. It's good. It's good. I like the green. That green on the right hand side's good. And then, so you can see how we've built it up. This is the one I made uh, whenever it was, Tuesday. So you can see, all we're going to do is we're going to start putting more stuff on top. You can see the basis of it. And then, let's see. Oh no, blue went off. Okay. Uh -uh. Daisy's going well. Oh, it's going well. Yes, you need to sort out down here nice. and down here and down here. Put a bit more green in. And then, uh, so that's another quick look at mine. Yeah, Christine, chuck a bit of water in there. Acrylics are versatile, so you can either use it. Um, hold on a sec, let's get this back on here. You can, acrylics you can use um, like oil paint, so you can put it on with a knife, or if you want to, you can, so you can, you can paint it on real thick, or if you want to, you can um, Whoa. use water with it and use it a bit more like a watercolour. Uh, okay, that goes there. <laughs> Right. Let me see if you're okay. Mine, so far, quite clean. How? But, well, I'm going to get. I've done a little bit. I just need to move it up. Hopefully, I'll move it up. Oh, I totally nailed it. Okay. It's half past 12. It's yellow, I need, isn't it? What? Let's have a look, Let's see how we're getting on. Oh, uh, uh, Vivian, I don't bother waiting. I don't bother put waiting for it to dry. Sometimes, you know, we're actually, we are actually waiting for this yellow to dry and this orange to dry because we're gonna put blue on top. Um, so that's why we did it first. One of the reasons we did it first, we're gonna put, put blue on top and we're gonna do the blue. We're gonna do most of the blue after the break so that what we've done here is, uh, is done. Right. So. It's still, oh my gosh, we're only exactly 200. Exactly 200, that's good. Get some dark blue paint out. I've already got the dark blue. Have you got dark blue? Yeah. Oh yeah, just me there. Get some dark blue paint out. I did. And what we're going to do... I'm going to stick on top. What we're going to do... It's going to mix up a little bit of deep purple. Deep purple? Deep purple. With your fingers? Okay. And it's a good lesson, this, in uh, trying to forget about... The, we're trying to forget about the, the flowers. And we're just looking at shapes. We're going to mix it. Go and sort yourself out then. Hello. Wow. Hello. <laughs> How did that happen? Wow. Okay. So I'm mixing up some purple. So that's red and dark blue. All right. In there. And you mix them up and you get a purple. To do the reason we want a bit of purple, we'll probably add a bit of green to it actually as well. For all of these dark bits. So we've got the dark bits here. We've got dark here. We need to get a little bit of depth into our, our vase, uh, not our vase, the, the bouquet 
So we want these dark bits here. We'll put some light, we'll do some highlights on them uh, later, but we need to do some dark bits in here. So mix up a purple. It can be a bit reddy, a bit bluey, doesn't matter which, it's just the darkest colour that we've got going. And then we'll start sort of, I mean, look, we've got some little flowers here, we can paint around the little flowers. Use your finger a bit if you want, if you just want to, tap, if you just want to dab it with your finger, that's fine. So we just need to put some dark in. Right. It's easier doing the backgrounds because dark it's like there's, there's no light and it's in the shadows so it has to be done first because it's if, we do, if we're thinking of layers it's got to be at the back. We do. We don't do it. <laughs> Ooh, thanks. <laughs> Not all of it. Oh, it's good. All right. So you don't have to wait for me. All you do is you look at your reference and you can see oh there's some dark mm. right. There's a lot of dark up here. We don't want to really see brush strokes. We want to see sketchiness. I want to have a new brush. If you think it's too blue, you can put some red Another in. sparkly brush. If you think it's too red, put some blue in it. But really it's about the tone. So tone is, um, if you think of white being zero and black being 10, that's tone. All of those numbers in between, that's tone. So this is, this is like nine, so we want it, I mean, that's what I'm saying, it doesn't matter about the colour, it's about the tone on it. It's still loading. I know, it's, 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 it's too much um, going on today, so I've got iPad to work as well, I think, probably. So you can see I'm just going around these flowers here, and I'm not painting the petals. So I mean, I'm not painting them. Just look at your reference. You've put, you've put, you're probably thinking, well, how do you know where to go? And I'm just half, I'm half closing my eyes so I can barely see. And then I'm just, well, I'm just seeing, well, these are the dark bits. So there's some dark bits in here. And then there's some dark bits there. Maybe it wants a bit of green in, in this dark. I don't know. And there's some dark bits down there. And you can see actually, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, you can see actually without painting the flowers, the fl I know we've painted a few, but without painting the flowers, some more stuff's beginning to appear. And this is what's going to happen all the way through this lesson. More stuff's going to begin to appear, but only if you put Just the paint on, <laughs> only if you put the paint on sketchily. If, you, if you're painting it on like this, less stuff's going to appear. We want to be just painting it kind of sketchy, sketchy. And look, I've forgotten there's a, you know, if, if you forget about a few flowers, it doesn't matter. Nothing happened over there. Nothing happened over there, Dave. Nothing to see there. Nothing. Hey, Clancy's caught up. Brilliant. How do you get the picture reference? Rachel, oh no, Rachel, you see, can't put a picture reference into the feed, so it would be like the next thing up on the home page. We're going to do a break in about um, no. five minutes. We're going to do a little break so you can get, the, you, you'll be able to find the picture the reference outside. in there. Uh, why are the police outside? Uh, don't know. Don't know. Wasn't me. Definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Honest God. Um, right, Dave, you've got five minutes. Reverie. Reverie. <laughs> We've got five minutes. In the last five minutes, it's a little, a little, Dave, listen to me. It's a little tester of the finger painting that we're going to do yes. in the second half. Yes. So. Blue? We've got quite a lot of, we've got right. quite a lot. No, not blue. Blue comes last. We've got, um, Dave, Dave, I'm trying to teach some people here, not just you. We're going to do the table, the top of the table first, with some brush strokes. The big brush strokes at the bottom in greeny red. Big brush strokes at the bottom because it's the nearest part, even though the table is only a tiny bit, as it's like, I don't know, two metres deep or two feet deep, little brush strokes at the back. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so long sleep. Little brush strokes at the back. Oh, I 
and big over a stretch at the front in greeny ready. Really ready. Nice. Mm. I'm pulling my apron on. Oh yeah, good thinking. All right. Big brush strokes at the back and little brush strokes. Sorry. Big brush strokes at the front and little ones at the back. If we can get that table nicely in. Table top. And then we've only got like. We can tinker with this later. What have we got? Two minutes till the break? Four minutes till the break. We're fine, we're fine. Some little green brush strokes here and around here. Keep looking at your reference and I've just done this, really. All we're doing, brush strokes in the same direction, they're like that. Okay. Good. Okay, and then for the, for the last four minutes of the um, first half, we're going to start some finger painting. Mm. So, I'm going to go these three. Pick whichever fingers you yes, like. Yes, you're doing this bit. Go on then, jump up. Jump up. So we're going to do it in red. Green, whatever you can find, and we're just doing this. Just dab it on. If you can see your fingerprints, then that's fine. The way I'm doing it is I'm trying to just keep roughly, things are going roughly that way. You can use whatever colours you'd like, but keep them dark. Oh, dark? Yeah, so you is want... that dark? Yeah, that's good. You can put loads in. Do, don't do any finger painting on top of the table. Can I do these? Yeah, finger painting's just in the background. So it's a good idea to have the paint near the canvas. You know, a bit of that, bit of that blue like that, bit in the red, maybe a bit of yellow. So we're talking like that. What is this? Uh, it's all the same colour. So Daisy's gone for all of the same colour. And I'm trying to get loads of different colours. And the way to do that is to get some, just go, go for like dip, dip and dip. It's a bit of pink. But yours will be fine, guys. And again, don't worry. We, we don't want a sort of particular stop. It doesn't like stop when you hit the flowers. It just kind of drifts in. And we can do this all around. We're just trying to get rid of the yellow. If most of the yellow, if some of the yellow pokes through, that's good. Really difficult to describe painting this. Maybe we should do something like the Triana. Maybe we should do that Triana next. I just stick my finger in there. So you're doing yours going up. I'm doing mine is going, Daisy's going up. I'm going across. Oh. I'll do a little look to see mine, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is pretty chilled out, isn't it? Pretty chilled out. Don't put any, don't put any days. Yeah. We put the blue in after, we put the blue in last. After the break, we what put the blue. blue. We want red, we want reds, mostly what about greens. Dark blue? What about dark blue? Dark blue's okay, but light blue, we've got to wait till the end. And we will, we'll have a little break, and then people can, A, they can catch up, but we won't. Some of the paint Red. Red. All right, so you can just see Red. the stuff is starting to appear, hopefully. And you're probably thinking this is a right mess, um, but it is a right mess. Even right. the finished Van Gogh is a right mess in those kind of terms, but it's like, keep going. Keep going with your mess, and then eventually you'll end up with a really colourful, beautiful painting. But um, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be quarter two now. It is quarter two, technically. Time for investigators. Oh, you're not watching that in the background. No. You can keep, you can keep going. 
This is the break, people. This is the break. Very well done. Very well done. The break! <laughs> Release your inner child. Correct. This is the break. Uh, we'll actually start painting again at uh, one o'clock, which is 14 minutes. So you can either catch up or chill out. I recommend you just have a little rest because it's pretty full on. You've just been going like hammering it for 45 minutes. Exactly. So Nothing. I have a rest and investigate. And it's hard not to stop painting though, isn't it? Look, can't stop, can't stop. I'm going to stop. <sighs> I am going to stop. Nothing much ha is going to happen this end. Do, do, do. Okay. Please can I watch a uh, Right, I'm going to write you a note, Dane. Okay. There we go. It's going well, isn't it? We've only painted, we haven't really painted anything. What do you think, Dave? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put kettle on, is that all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have a look at some of these, do I have a look at some of these messages? Mm -hmm. uh. Oh yeah, bye. I found out how to make a new emoji. Oh yeah. Well, one of somebody was telling you about that last week, weren't they? Mhm. Mm it was. Oh, it's this Lynn. That. Yeah. Oh, it was Lynn, wasn't it? But Lynn's not Lynn. Who's Lynn? Was it Sophia? That's the colours I'm doing. Lucy, you creep. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't get it. Clemency just finished her dots. Yeah, I don't think they're ever finished, are they? I just said, wow. <laughs> I found out how to move the X. It's either that one. Good time for a cup of tea. Yes! I made that star one! Oh, well done. Well I done. think it's XX. Oh, uh, Vivian, right, so the, I'll tell you what, you won't believe what paint, you will not believe what paint I'm using. I'm glad you asked though. I'm using any household emulsion, basically. Stuff you paint your walls with. Um, the oh, good yeah. stuff, but it's still that stuff. So don't go home base, um, don't go home base, uh, economical, whatever the, whatever you call it, the cheap one. Oh, that didn't work either. Does anyone Go know? for the expensive stuff. Vinyl mats. But that's obviously, you know, I do loads and loads of these. Um, these classes, so I'm getting through quite a lot of paint. What you can do though, I do uh, little pots, little pots of paint, little pots of paint, and I can post them out to you. These little pots, I fill them up, you get like six or six or eight of them, uh, and I can post them out to you, fiver for the whole for the whole lot. So if you want any, send me a dress, and I'll send you some paint, and that's good. They'll be good for like three or four canvases. Um, got canvases too, if you want those. How do I get the wrap? I wonder if we can post the reference in. Oh, I know, you could. Wait. Look, I know. I know. Oh, 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 I know.
Help your hand. You can't because it's it. you, you can't because you can't paint. Um, okay. So you go. Do it in Messenger. No, no, no. Get Jeanette in Messenger. This is, I know how to do it there. Yes, yeah, get her in Messenger, look. This one? Yeah. And then you can drag it in there. And then press send. Is it definitely that one? Yeah. Yeah? Good one. Thank you. What are you doing now? I want to watch you back. This is the calm. We've got nine minutes of calm days before it all kicks off in the second half. The second half's so good though. Second half, with all those blues, we're gonna to get to paint the bars. It's gonna be epic. Okay. Yeah? Okay, give it, a, give it a go. Okay. It's just tricky to send photos in the feed. I don't think you can send photos. Yes, do that, Lucy. Do that, Lucy. So there's a few things that you should know, like I was sort of ranting earlier. We do do art supplies, we use acrylic paint. Um, so any acrylic paint's fine, like from Gaelic from Amazon or wherever. I sell it as well, and I'm selling the high quality wall paint. It's like, it's really good stuff, that's what we're using now. And um, I do like a set for a five, but these canvases are £7.50. I've recently discovered Hermes, which is brilliant, so I don't have to go down to the post office, they'll collect it. A, big, a whole set of stuff like for easels and stuff. Um, I think it was like six pounds for next day delivery or something like that. So that's new to me. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, you can do that. Just, I've just, um, there'll probably be a, a price list somewhere. I'll make sure that there is. Um, also we do Zoom classes. So if you want, it, it's basically exactly like this, apart from I can see you. Um, and like we can talk and I can see your painting, so you do, they're, they're 20 pound a person, so you get like a group of say three or four, up to about 20. Anything above 20 yeah, it's a bit messy because obviously everyone's talking at the same time, but 20 is good. Um, and we can do that, so just message us. Good for a work thing or a little birthday party where people can't come, go out. Last days, what else is there? It's probably about it, isn't it? All of these videos, Save to the page. Apart from the old ones, which then they go to YouTube. Oh yeah, money is free. So please share all these events. If you do want to send us some money, either you buy a ticket on Eventbrite or uh, PayPal is a great thing. PayPal me and uh, Daisy will probably be putting that link in the feed. Won't you? Get the link in the feed. Get the link in the feed, Daisy. Get in the feed. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi, Diana. Yeah, as soon as this finishes, as soon as this finishes at half past one, um, it'll save straight, it'll save to the page and you can watch it back. So probably by a quarter to two when we finally finish doing the shout outs, doing the shout outs at the end because we're dead busy when we're painting. I'm trying to tell Daisy to shut up. She's going, what do we do next? Because she's not looking at us and then she's going to get, try and get a pot noodle and all that. So do the shout out, shout outs at the end and we'll definitely, and, and uh, Daisy can actually shout at you. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. So, what have we got? Hi, Mummy. Oh, your mother's on. Oh. Should have run to the top of Parliament Hill now, is it? Why? I oh, know, because then we'd lose the connection, wouldn't we? That's a terrible idea. Terrible idea. How are we on? No worries, Diana, no worries. You were going to say something about that. Thank you, Lynette. No, it's Bethany. Bethany. <laughs> Thank you, Bethany. We've got two minutes to go. Oh, Helena, it's called. Do -do 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 -do. It's called Vars with Anemones. Vars with Anemones. Vars with Daisies and Anemones. Or Vars with Daisies and Anemones, and it's Vincent van Gogh. You can get it, yeah, Google it, and you can, then you can uh, print it out. Khaki, so it's like a brown colour. All right, here's a quick, uh, it's one minute to one. One minute, no worries, Helena. Daisy, you ready to go? Mm -hmm. Daisy? Yeah, I'm just doing Yeah, I know. Hey, Kim, it's gonna say, it's gonna say to the page after, after we've, uh, after we've finished about half past one, it's going to save to the page so you can watch it back. Now, Daisy Dears, are you ready? Yes. Caroline, mine doesn't look very defined either. Look, this is not defined. Very much not defined. Daisy's is not defined. Don't worry about that. It's all going to be okay. I'm just going to give you a quick... Uh... There we go. Yeah, loaded to the page when finished. Thanks. Um, you ready, Dave? Okay, welcome back. It's one o'clock. I welcome hope you enjoyed your back. break. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the break. Here's one thing we've just, I've just thought of this. Um, next week, by popular uh, demand or request, Thanks, we're going to try and um, 
uh, we're just going to try and paint some clouds. Now I do this all the time, so what we thought we'd do is try and recreate a painting that I did from the top of Parliament Hill which is just up there. So here's one thing, here's the painting that we're going to attempt next week. Uh... Oh, that one, we're going to give it a go next week. And that's a big one, that's six foot across. You don't have to do it six foot across. Uh, would be fine, you can if you want. Um, but um, yeah, we're going to try and do the clouds and the big blue sky gradient and a bit of the skyline and stuff. I think at the end of this class, may or may not work, but we might just run to, we might take the camera and run to the top of the hill to show you the actual view. So that'll be at about 10 minutes after the class, once we've done the shout outs, uh, then we'll run up to the top of the hill and show you the view of London and see if that works. It might not, because we might drop off Wi-Fi or it might break all data. But um, anyway, we're going to give that a go. So stay tuned for that, Days. Get back at, get back at your station. You naughty, naughty girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're back. We are back. What are we going to do? We're going to paint the bars. We're going to paint the bars. Get a clean brush. Get a clean brush. Doesn't have to be big, small, whatever you like. We need to be sparkly. But it has to be... Clean brush. We need to be sparkly buddies. Sparkly buddies? Yes. Okie dokie. That's, That's sparkly enough for you? No, that one's not sparkly. Okay, oh, Mix up some blue and black. some white. The black one, no. Mix up some blue and some white. <laughs> I got one. Thank you, thank you very much. I've got some blue. Get in there, sweetie, go on. And we're gonna paint the vase. Now, the vase, it's all about the direction of the brush stroke. See, it's not, do not do this. Straight down. Don't do that, because that is a straight down brush stroke. The brush stroke needs to be, it needs to be like this, doesn't it? It needs to be rounded at the edges. Can you see what I'm doing? Don't paint over your lovely yellow flower. If it goes round like that, so it's sort of like that, isn't it? It's that shape, but in smaller ones. Base, can I have a quick look? Can we have a quick look? It's like that shape, yeah? So you can do it in lots of little, lots of little brush strokes. And you can use all the different, if you want both blues or, yeah, both blues if you've got two blues, plus white. And then that'll give you, that'll give you, uh, All the colours you need, yeah, that's great. So it goes like that on the outside. It's probably slightly, slightly lighter in the middle of the vase, isn't it? I'm going over it. And of course, you can go over it. You know, you can just put more more white paint on. Like that. We want to see the brush strokes here. Try not to get too much. If it goes too close to your green, you'll end up with a green vase. The title of the painting. Oh no, it's, no, it's not a blue vase, is it? But I think because the title of the painting's vase with anemones, it's actually more about the vase than it is the flowers. Because the vase is like, I mean, if you look even if you look at what I did, I concentrated on the vase a bit more. And you can see the brush strokes that Van Gogh made in the vase, and you can't really in the... I don't know, maybe I'm talking nonsense. Good chance. Just to keep looking at, keep looking at your reference, and you can see which bits are dark and which bits are light. Yeah. You're going to make a vase shape out of yours, Dave. Yeah. Is that a vase shape? 
You're not, you, you're not looking like a look around, are you? You're guessing. Because you're not looking at the reference, which is above you. A lot of people, Daisy's just, uh, Daisy's just uh, sort of explained this in a way. It's like, if you don't look at your reference, you won't know what to paint. Do you see what I mean? That was that's a lot better. So keep looking at your reference, even if it's this, or, or, the, or, the, or the original Van Gogh. Look at, look, my days, I'm painting on an angle, it's gone all over the place. I'm back to this side now. Happens, so if I'm stood there, you get the foreshortening. <laughs> uh, let's straighten out these bars. Can you give me some light, please? Uh, can I, I'm a bit busy doing the old teaching days. Yeah, you've got enough time to do the bars like this. Nice. And then those like that. We can always go back to it. I think, again, you might want to just reinforce that. that I know, we'll do that later. I was going to say we're going to might reinforce the red that comes in around the bottom of the bars in the shadows, but we can do that later. Whilst we're on the blue, we're on the final straight now. We can, we can, you can tinker, of course, with your, with your bars for as long as you like, but I'm uh, obliged to uh, finish the painting. So there were some people who don't like that, I've done that, crack on. So, oh, I need to get the light. Let me try the little thing. Hello. <laughs> Let me try the little thing. I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. We've already got some red on the go. So since we're, well, as soon as you've done like the bottom part of your bars, you don't need to clean your brush that much. Just get a little bit of red on it. And we're just going to make sure that we've got, the, we've got it dark around the edge. Like in there. With red and brownie. I'm going to make sure it's all dark around there. So when you do the edge of it, you can paint the edge of it in and then just blur the edges. I'm going to do that in a minute. Just make, it, make sure it's dark around, around your bars. Yeah, it's better already. It's better already, Dave. Oh, look at that, it's nice. You need to learn how to stop painting because sometimes you, do, you absolutely nail it and then you, over, then you overdo it. Same with everybody, it's all about knowing when to stop, kids. All right. Okay, now, give your brush a little bit of a swish. We're gonna bish in all of these red flowers. We're not painting each individual, we're definitely not painting each individual flower slash petal. We're just bishing it in. So we want some of the darks, we've got some of this darky, we've got some of the red. Get a load of it on, because there's a lot to do. All up here. Loads of red. If we want to start messing with it later, hey Dave, look what I'm doing. So loads of red up here. Don't be shy with quantity of paint to get loads on. And we're fishing all of this up here. It's about, there it is, I don't know what it's about. I was going to say something, I just totally forgot. I don't, I don't know what it's about. Do you know what it's about? No, I don't know what it's about. And there's some red flowers here. Wherever you see red, just chuck some in. So there's a little bit of red flower here. Don't worry about making them look like flowers. We haven't made anything look like a flower so far, or anything really, and so far, so good. It's all coming out. There's some red in there, maybe. Bit of red in there. And maybe some in here. Chuck a bit of green in. I know I'm painting fast, but that's because I'm painting fast. The next bit's so good, you're 
needs a bit of greening. We need a little bit of greening. Is everybody okay? Da, 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 da. Yes, Clemency, the hands are going to get messy. It's going to get messy. Yeah, so if you've done the red, do a little bit, once we've done the red, do a little bit more red days. Once we've done the red, we do a little bit of green, and then we're on blue flowers and blue background. And then the last thing we do will be the big, those big daisies at the top, I think. We'll put a little bit of green in, for a bit of, what's the stuff, what's it called? Leaves, that's it. A little bit of green in for leaves. These stalks actually are important. The only straight lines, these stalks where the... Uh, let's, not, let's not forget to do them later. What later? Alright. What later? There's these stalks right at the top. Yeah. No, up, yeah. yeah, those. Those stalks are quite important because they're straight lines and they're very vibrant. Not vibrant. They're, they're just strong, you know? Okay. Okay, we're going back in with finger painting. Okay, so here's my plan. I've actually, believe it or not, I have got a plan. Um, almost always I've never painted these, these paintings before, and we just make it up, which is quite good. Hello? Have you got something to tell people? Oh, a little kissy, thank you. Um, we're going to go uh, with the blues and the whites. Both blues and the whites, and this is the fun bit. Everything up here, with finger painting, it's a little bit more delicate, it's just a little bit more delicate. We can mess up, we can put the flowers in later, do you know what I mean? Blue. There you go. And it's the light blue plus some white plus the dark blue, and we're just moving the paint around with our fingers. Leave the, where the flowers come, just leave them. But don't be scared if the blue goes too far in. It needs to do a little bit. So this is background blue, super bright. It's the, this is actually brighter than, the, than, your, than your original. But you can see what I, I normally like, get saturation up as high as you can. And you're just dabbing it, really. You're just dabbing it. So, not much left to do. We can mess around with this blue for a bit. As we get down to the bottom, I think the blue has a little bit more, maybe it's a bit lighter, and there's definitely a bit less of it. So it's kind of in there like that. You're gonna get messy. In there like that, it's looking good. Like that. Looking good. Dave, you absolutely, totally nailed it. <sighs> totally nailed it, she has. Maybe it's a bit slightly blue. Oh, I was going to say, maybe it was, I was going to say it was darker blue at the top, and then I put a load of light blue up there. It goes to show, it doesn't really matter. There's a bit of red getting mixed in. Yeah, like I say, we can mess with these flowers later. The, well, the ones we're actually going to do in the class, we're going to do these, I think they're called oxide daisies. Are they oxide daisies? I think they are. Oxy. Oxy. No, they're not oxy. Yeah, they are. are they? Yeah, they are. Okay, I'm going to speed up. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, but they go fast, man. Okay, I'm thinking. Mine's going well. Yours is going well, Dex. You could even put some more paint on. I never say that to you because you always put loads of paint on. And don't worry if don't worry if your blue goes into and over into where you think your flowers are. 
We've got a load of blue flowers. I forgot about those. They're in here. Why don't you make them a little bit with these flowers? Why don't you make them slightly different colour? What I'm going to do, look, I was looking. I've got a bit of pink here. So I'm going to put blue in my pink. You see where my fingers are doing there? I mean, it's a little bit off piece and not exactly what uh, <coughs> Van Gogh did, so. But. I'm doing that. Make them a bit purple, it's fine. Maybe put a bit of white in there as well. Just goes to show we've got fully got our artistic licenses well out and we can just change what we want. That works out pretty well actually. My work's out again. Your work, Dave, you've got to leave that, that bit there especially. I think I love it. And then let's have a few more of those. Let's have a few more of those down here maybe. You can, you know, as Bob Ross would say, these, these flowers, please. Flowers are your friends. They're your friends. You can put a little tree here. Oh no, not, don't put a tree there. Flowers are our friends. See, look, gradually it's all coming up, and we haven't still really haven't painted any flowers. But we did these four. That's it. All right, I don't have a look at the time. Oh, yes. Okay, we're winning, I think. Yeah, the brighter blues are good, aren't they? Helen says. Helen's right. Oh, it still looks a bit of a mess. I've got a, quite a bit of yellow to kill. I've got quite a bit of yellow to kill up here. So I'm just going to go in there. Got a lot of yellow to kill. I'm getting rid of that. Just a little bit of green. I'm not going to kill it off so it's all dirty brown. Just going to. You see, what will happen is at the end of this class, you can just mess about with it a little bit and you can do a few extra flowers or... There's two purple flowers here. Do those. I can't remember what they're called. Somebody, some florist amongst you will know, there's, the, there's these two flowers here. Look, they're very deep purple. Maybe they're the anemones. No idea. And they're going in. One. Two. Just to, just like chuck them in. Finger painting all the way. I did a tiny bit of love it, Dace. Love it, love it, love it. And then I'm going to do a bit of stuff. Okay. Yeah, good white. Good white. Need white. Okay. You've got a bit of white in there. A little bit of yellow, which is that. Okay, anything all going on, anything all going. Anita! Yeah, the video will save. As soon as we finish, it'll pop up on the page so you can finish it later. I don't know what I'm doing now. Just messing about. If you get to that stage and you don't know what you're doing, and if you don't know what you're doing without a reference, just have a word with yourself and just think, why, why am I doing this? Because there's a good chance I'll probably mess it up. All right, look at it, Dave. Brilliant. You, well, we're going to put some white flowers in here and we're going to run to the top of Parliament Hill. Can't remember what I was doing. You see, that was just what I was explaining. Don't do stuff if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, I'll get some white. Where do you want it? Anywhere, just want white. Where? Oh, in here. Okay. This is why I have to get lots of paint, isn't it? Okay, quick bit of coffee. I like the one I did first. It's all right though. I'll go mess with it later, isn't I? It's good, Dave. Okay, 
Okay, so let's quick check on the time. Ten past. Do you know, 20, we've got ten more minutes, we can do this. Let's have a look at yours, Dave. I know, we'll go for a little walk, shall we? Let's go for a little walk. B. Right. So you've all been looking at mine and thinking how perfect it is and how what amazing artist. It's as uh, sketchy as you like. Very, 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 very sketchy. But then of course from a distance it looks all right. Shall we have a little look at Daisy Doodles? All right, Daisy, how's it going? Look, you're live here, Daisy, you say hello. Oh, look at that. Move your palette. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. All right. Uh, yeah, a little quick, uh, just whilst I'm out and about. This is what we're going to paint next week. One of a uh, very famous artists you've never heard of, uh, called Ed Sumner. And uh, he always paints these massive canvases of sky, so we're going to do that. And... Um, at the end of this lesson, once we've done the shout outs, we're going to run to the top of the hill and show you this exact scene. So it might be worth hanging on for. I might not run, I might walk. It's going to take five minutes, but it's going to be worth it. Yeah, Nicole, me too. Just chuck some more. If you've got big patches of yellow to fill, just put some foliage in there, put some, put some greens or whatever. So the last kind of bit of... <gasps> oh, what is it? If you live close to Parliament Hill, you can meet us there. That is a good idea. Anybody, anybody who wants to see us at the top of Parliament Hill live, <laughs> we will be there at quarter to two. Right, Nicole. Let's get that's that sorted there. Which Nicole? Nicole on here. Yeah, which one? Well, you don't know her. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, Nicole, which Nicole are you, Nicole? Okay. Right then. So, we need white paint. So we're going to do these daisies, Daisy. Daisy, we're going to do daisies, Daisy. Is that all right? Daisy. Dace, we're going to do dates. We're going to do dates, all right? So, white paint. First, wash your hands. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. fell straight through the floor then. Daisy's going to wash her hands. Okay, whilst Daisy's washing her hands, we will get this thing. So, get a clean brush because you're using white paint. It must have been dirty for Daisy to go and wash her own hands without me telling her. So we've got white paint, there's a bit of red on there, but that's, that's my mistake. Um, get that off. White paint. And wherever you fancy a daisy, oxide daisy, you put them, you put the, you we're actually painting, we're actually painting now, we're painting flowers for the first time in an hour. And we go out to in, so the edge of the um, petal into the centre, we'll, we'll finger paint the centre, so we go out to in, so we can actually see out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in. Look at that one. That's because I didn't clean my brush. If that happens, just get loads more paint and just lay it on top and it's gone. 
So quantity of paint is good. You need you need lots of it. So there's one there, and then there's one on a bit of a slant there. You know, put as many in, in as you like. If you prob if you wanted some white bits over here, then you can do that. Maybe chuck a bit there. A bit of balance it out. Maybe it's up to you. Um, Oh, Daisy, it's a lot easier when I'm not getting interrupted all the time. What do you think? Oh, she's ah. gone. Huh? <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Some more daisies up here. And some more daisies in here. Out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in. Uh, if, you've got if you've got some patches of yellow, just cover them up. I mean, you know, some of the, there'll be some yellow flowers there, but if you're not happy with it, just put any colour on top. Um, I don't know, it looks like there's some sort of white kind of something or other going on up there. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll put it in anyway. And then these, actually, I forgot to mention this, the, the stalks are quite, you kind of need to get those stalks in. I messed mine up a bit, but I get the stalks in. Um, yeah, yeah, come on you, she's still washing her hands. Maybe the finishing touches would be the three minutes. Daisy, you've got three minutes to paint in these little daisies. Do you think you can do it in one minute? What are you looking for? Daisy's going to use a cotton bud to do this. I'm not sure that's the best idea. Uh, so the middle bits of the uh, the middle bits of the daisies, you don't need to you don't need to paint them in. Get a bit of orange paint. Fish in a little bit of orange paint like that. On top. Top, top, that, and you can redo that. Dot, 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 dot. Maybe there's one there. Is there one there? I can't remember. Suddenly, it's all coming together. With three minutes to go, days. We've got three minutes to go. No, we haven't. We've got two minutes to go. What else do we need to do? So I need to look at the. Um, I need to redo my vase a little bit. A little bit of a mess about with that. Have some more coffee. So, we've almost cracked it. I think there's some orangey flowers. I think there's some orangey flowers somewhere in here. That'll do. And then you've got to try and balance your painting out. So if you've got a bit of orange over here, you might want a little bit of orange just down there. Then you want a bit there. A bit there, and then that's it. I am done. It looks beautiful. Beautiful. Right, so. Done! We are done. Don't forget. Well done, everybody. It's half past 12. Don't forget, sign your painting of Van Gogh or your actual name. Watch Daisy's TikTok videos. <laughs> um, yeah, Van Gogh, sign your name. Send me um, good quality images on email is best. Um, you can see my email somewhere in the list. Um, try and get it square on so I don't have to get Photoshop and twist it and make it all square. Send them in to me before Sunday night and I'll turn them into a, a lovely little video. If you want to check out all the videos are all on the Facebook page somewhere. The fancy one last week was Ace. I think it's got like 130 paintings in it or something. Really cool. And then I found, and then someone actually painted on there in their back garden wall, so the bank seat was this big, it's really good. So do that. Uh, if you want to send us some money on the PayPal link, look in the feed, PayPal me slash painting club. Like I say, next week we're painting the big, the big sky. We're going to learn about clouds and a bit of depth and stuff like that. Dennis, you got anything to say? Uh, follow us on TikTok 
I pulled off the jacket. There's no point doing that, there's nothing on it. Anything else? Make something. All right, so send in your, uh, send us in your shout out. So I'm going to get Daisy in front of the computer. I'll put it there so she can shout out. Uh, finish your paintings. I hope you all had a good time. In 10 minutes, we're going to run to the top of Parliament Hill uh, just to show you the view. It's beautiful, on a special day like today. Oh, but I'm not going to piggyback, Daisy. <laughs> How did, how did you just do that? How did you just climb on? <laughs> oh, right, I'm gonna put, put you get back down there. Oh, if I put the computer on here, Daisy, you can do the shout outs. Yeah? Right, can you just... No, 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 because people need to see you and we want oh. waves. We want waves. Woof. Okay, let's move this. The iPad didn't work at all, did it? Good to know, Pippa. Thank you. Glad everyone liked it. We want to see. Oh yeah, when we're doing the, um, when you send in the photographs, send in. We want to see your lovely little faces painted like this. Um, so I move this down so you can yes. see. Yes. Yes. Oh, you can stand up. Yeah. You know, it's not easy. All right. So Daisy is now going to do shout outs for the next ten minutes, and then we're going to leg it to the top of Tarleton Hill. Hi. There we go. Oh. Thanks, Jackie. Oh. You good? It's going up and down, yeah? Uh, thanks, Jackie. Thanks, Hillary. Thanks, Iris. Hi, Lynette and Bethany. Thanks, Jules. Thanks, Bethany, again. She's the same thing. It's nice. I think Bethany's had a good time. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hi, Imogen, age eight. Hi, Olivia, Lily and Nathan. Thanks, Elaine. Uh, Cheers, Vivian. Thanks, Vivian. <laughs> I can see him as well. Shout out to Imogen. Shout Give Imogen a wave. Imogen. Give her a wave. Um, say if you want to shout out, please. Say if you want to shout out. You should get Daisy to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hop. Daisy, can you hop? <laughs> Thank you, my daughter Kate. Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Donna and Katie. Lynette and Molly, brilliant. Do you know what? There's gonna be a massive cloud coming. We're gonna get soaked. Oh man. We really are. Oh no. We can't No, we're gonna do it. Oh. Look, I've I'm gonna do it. Shout out time. Thalia inside. Hey. Thanks, Arif. Thanks, Clemency. Thank you, Clemency. Uh, Yasmin. <laughs> Thank you, Jonko. I need to give him a wave, Thank Dice, you, I think. <laughs> give him a wave. He's all going and scrolling up and <laughs> Thanks. Uh... Go on, you can do it. Suzwati, isn't it? Suzwati? 
Thanks, Shara. <laughs> Shara. Thanks, Rebecca. Becca Thanks, and Chris. Sarah. Thanks, Jules. See you next time. Doesn't matter, then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's going to rain. It is going to rain. Which is shocking for because if we're going to run to the top of the hill in the in the rain. Um, my TikTok name is Dazzer Duda. <laughs> she did. She did. I know. I know. Um. So. We'll message you back Daisy's TikTok name. No worries, Kate. <laughs> we want to see pictures of the carnage. Send us pictures of the carnage. So I reckon there's going to be paint everywhere. All over the world. In Adelaide and India and... What's your email? America. What's your email address? Email address to send in the photos is ed.sumner at hotmail.co.uk. What are you doing, Ellie? Right, thanks. Oh, thanks, Christine. The white flowers are Japanese anemones. Brilliant. Very good knowledge. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop this now and then start it again. Because I don't want it, I don't want to be at the top of a Parliament Hill in the rain and then it not save the video. Because that would be an absolute nightmare. So I'm going to go. Babs, next class is is next Friday, yeah. Every Friday, 12 o'clock. So the next week we're doing the big painting, the sky, and then the one after is such a cool painting. We're doing Basquiat. Really, really cool. Really cool. I can't wait for that one. And then after that, I think Daisy's going back to school, so we'll do Saturdays. That's the plan. But it's every week. Every week forever. I'm just... Right, I'm going to stop this video, start another one, then run to the top of Parliament Hill. You're coming with me. What? Okay, let's do it. Right. Days. Give him a little wave. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop the video now. It's going to say to the page, if you want to see us run to the top of Parliament Hill, uh, we'll be back in about two minutes. It's going to rain. It's not. We're going to do it. We're going to do it.